Good morning and welcome to the fifth day, day five of the 40 day fast that I embarked on 2012. This is January 6th and this is day five. And so far I already had my hour and a half walk. I walked my son to school and uh, I'm sustaining pretty good energy. And uh, we're going to continue, God willing, with this. And uh, today I'm just quickly going to get into what we've been, we've been talking as I'm doing this 40 day fast. I'm uh, trying to explain to you, you know, the meaning of the of what Jesus was doing with those uh, when he was tempted, he was being tempted in the in the wilderness after he has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, in the beginning of his ministry, that's how he started it. And uh, understand here what I've been explaining before. We're looking at the meaning of things. Every word has a meaning, and, to be, and he has to be represented for what he means. Okay? The word Jesus means he saves. And in the Bible, the term saving or being saved, uh, it means, uh, you know, to make things whole to restore, to make things complete, to not have things lack anything. So, when he says that God is perfect, the word perfect in the Bible means to be perfect. He's complete. He's whole. There's nothing lacking in Him. So, when He makes things, that's how He makes them. Make them whole and nothing lacking so that they perform or do the task uh, which were the, they were created to execute, you know. And that's how all industries do. Industries create uh, cars, create uh, computers, all ready and perfectly fit to be able to perform and function accordingly to the tasks they were they they were enabled to do, and so that's how they're sent. They're sent into the market complete, so that you have to just enjoy the particular ability and functions that they perform. You don't have to do anything to make them work. You just enjoy what they can do for you. And so that's how everything is created. Everything is created whole and perfect and complete. And so he says it means he restores, he makes things whole, he makes things complete, he makes things perfect. All right. So because that's the meaning of Jesus and the whole world was made to express who God is, the whole world reveals him, all creation reveals him. And so the Bible says that, you know, in, the, in the Proverbs, uh, I believe it's Proverbs uh, 16.4, if I'm not mistaken, it says that the Lord, you know, God has made all things for Himself, even the wicked for the evil day. So even the wicked for the evil day are talking about who God is and expressing who God is. Let me let me get this in a minute. Uh, what that means is, you know, the wicked, uh, the wicked to be wicked in the eyes of God, you know, or to be wicked to anybody else, even to me, you don't have to do really something bad. Just to think evil, to think bad about my family, well, I will consider you, you know, a bad person just for doing that, you know. So because people, their family, you know, and those that are close to him, they're very precious and dear, you know, to you, you know. And so if you think bad of my family, you're already a, a bad person in my book. If you think of my family as nothing, you know, I think that you are a bad person just for doing that. The same with God. If you think of His Son as nothing, you know, you're bad in the eyes of God. You're wicked. Very wicked indeed. You know, just like anybody will do that, you know, with, to protect their own family. And God's Son is the Word. The Word. So in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And all things were made by this word. By his son is the agent of creation. He spoke all things into existence. You know. And so when you think of the word as nothing, because I have asked people, what is the word in you? Oh, that's the the means by which I express myself. Um, that's the way by which I learn things. You know, they say everything about the word, but they don't consider it to be a person. But God considers it to be his son. So when you think that things are more important than words, you know, then you saying to God, your son is nothing, but this thing is bigger than your son. 
by these things that I acquire in this world on possessions and the things that have been made by words, by the way, because everything is a word before on a manual and a schematic, you know, and then it comes out into whatever thing, you know, the words, the shape, the word has told you that it's going to have. So the words is more important. The word is more precious. So whenever you think that the thing that has been made by the word is more valuable than the word, and you want to be great by the thing that has been made by the word, you are a wicked person. Uh, you're a stupid person to begin with, but you're also wicked. Because you're considering something of less value to be of more value than the thing that made it. I don't know if that makes sense, but, you know, but that's what I'm getting at here. Alright? So, the wicked, the people that think nothing of what is more valuable and make what is less valuable, uh, you know, more precious than what it's supposed to be, they were made for the, e for the evil day. Now, what's the evil day? The evil is the opposite of what's good. Okay, the Bible says, Do you know the knowledge of the tree of good and evil? Good means in the Bible, useful. And evil means being not useful, useless. So, the wicked, the people that think of what is more worth, which is the, the word that creates everything, think nothing of it, and the things that have been made by words, they exalt and make everything of it. That's stupid people and wicked people to begin with. They are made for a uh, for a useless day, for a day, you know, that are using things, you know, to not express uh, the value that God gives them and give the wrong value to them. That's the evil day. Okay, so they are made for that particular day. But even people that live in this evil day, the day of uselessness, you know, they are talking and expressing who God is by their actions. I'm getting at this right now. Uh, like I said, the world, all the industries of the world are defining, they live to define who God is. Because all the industries and all corporations, you know, and all CEOs make sure that the products and services, you know, supply what is lacking. In other words, they are there to make things complete, to make sure that everything lacks. Now, the meaning of God's word, He says, He makes sure that nothing is lacking. So all the industries have to live to define who God is. Even the people that do not go God, they have to do it because you are living, you are, you are existing, and you are residing in His creation. So His creation is here to express Him. So even the wicked day, that live in the evil day, are there to express the meaning of God. The meaning that He saves, He restores, He makes complete, He makes whole. So when Jesus was in the wilderness being tempted by the devil, He was there representing Himself, representing the meaning of what His name means. And the devil want him to misrepresent himself. You know, if you are the Son of God, you know, who he was Jesus, then use the power that you have to make those stones become bread and satisfy your hunger that you have at this moment. But remember, since everything has been made by the Word, the the atoms in those rocks and those stones being were being held together by the word that has spoken into existence. So Jesus was holding those rocks in place. You know, that's a miracle in itself right there. So he didn't need to transform it into something else. Alright? So he wasn't out there, you know, to to uh, to see what he could consume of, uh, uh, from what he was sustaining and keeping preserved and keeping it in place. So I like the answer that he gives. You know, it is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And I explained yesterday how is that the word feeds your brain first and enables you, you know, instructions that come into you enable you to be able to make things and to preserve them and to maintain them and to keep them. And therefore, that's a job that you do. And for that, you get paid. And then you are able to go and eat something or consume a product and the usefulness of that product. But first, the word has to take precedence. The work is the first. The word is so that that's, he explained how things are. So he found, he passed that he, he passed that test, that temptation, with flying colors. He remained. He retained the meaning of his name intact. I save. I restore. I made perfect. So he defended the definition of what he means. You know, well, the devil sadly to say, you know, he was not able to, you know to get Jesus to look at things his way. But sadly to say, we live in a time, you know, nowadays where 
the so-called Christians of our time, have actually taken the test of Satan and say, you know, if you are the son of God, if you are a Christian, you are his child, you know, then use all his powers, you know, to talk to circumstances, to speak these things into and bring them unto you. The wicked thing about all of that is that the so-called Christians, you know, are making these things more important than the word. And that's what the wicked do, remember. That's what the wicked do. They think that the things that the word has created are more valuable than the word. You know, you're slapping that in the face saying, your son is nothing, but the things that your son has made, those are great. Don't be stupid like that. Alright? But that's what the wicked do. So if you call yourself Christian, and you're using the status of having God on your side, you know, saying, I have your son, and I have your, your spirit, and I have you, God, but I'm going to go get all these things, and use your power to get all these things, because the world, sell, the world says that they are important, and I also need to have them. And then you pray for those things, and you are used to power to acquire all these things. Don't be like that. This is the, the time in which knowledge is available everywhere, especially in the internet. There are free manuals to learn all things. Learn to enjoy all that the world, the word is, and it can make you capable of doing. You know, we are here to find out all that the word is, all that the word has, and all that the word does. So to do that, only all you need is just to be open to the learning of all things. You know, that's what I, I enjoy the day that we were made to live forever because there's so much things out there to be learned. There's so much thing to see what God can make us useful for this, make me useful for that. That is an exciting existence. You know, but don't be like the wicked for the useless day. You know, that makes something that is of less value have the highest value. And that which is of most value, which is the word that has created all things, think nothing of it. So, I'll continue this tomorrow. But that's all for today.